random way I could start off this video in a cowgirl hat. It doesn't really make sense, but it's also weirdly perfect. <laughs> okay, hat, I'm seeing you tomorrow. You guys, we are going to Italy. Ah, what is going on? I, of course, I feel like I always started my Europe vlogs in the Starbucks drive-thru like two years ago when I went. I don't even know where to start this. Oh my God. To say I am so overwhelmed is just an understatement. <laughs> to sum it up, and you know you will get so much more explanation once we are there, I was blessed to have some work opportunity over in Italy this month. I'm also fully vaccinated as well as my sister when all of that was coming together we decided that we would go over to Florence Italy for three and a half weeks rent an Airbnb we've been to Florence before it is a beautiful beautiful place it's one of my favorite places I've ever been to my mom's gonna meet us halfway through I just feel so blessed oh my god we are gonna be heading to the airport and we have a long travel day ahead and I just can't even believe this is real I can't wait to bring you guys along obviously I'm gonna be filming so much of this but but without further ado, let's head on over to the airport. <laughs> because we're nine hours ahead and so it's like literally 3 a.m. our body time but it's like full on like 3 p.m. here the next day so I don't even know but it feels like it's been a lifetime of traveling but we made it and there's so much to unpack here we made such an entrance getting into our Airbnb first of all I dropped my suitcase and fell on top of my duffel and we're kind of staying on a pretty touristy street and so everyone was looking over a lot to unpack I'm gonna give you guys the quickest little tour and show you guys where we're staying for the next three and a half weeks this is kind of our home base and we are planning a couple other things in Italy, but this place is insane. Huge props to Aaron and mom for finding this. So basically we are staying at an Airbnb apartment just cause we're staying for longer. So you walk in right here, it's so much bigger than what we expected. Huge mirror here, which you already know the alpha pictures are gonna be taken here. And then you come in here and we have our little living room area. We got the couches and then the people that we're running from are so sweet. They got us a bottle of champagne and little, what is this, biscotti? So sweet! And then this beautiful view. This is easily the best part of this place. Okay, what the hell? Wait, is it the one Something's not hitting there. We break it the first 10 minutes. That's not thing. We can't figure out how to get the AC going in my room. There is so much to figure out. Yeah, so basically, there's two rooms. This is my room, even though you already know Aaron and I are going to be cuddled up together each night, but more to like separate our stuff. And then we do a little walk over here. Here is my bathroom. I don't even know what that is, but I don't think I will be using that. So cute in here. And then we come over and we have air inside of the apartment. Yeah, wait. Okay, so first off here, the kitchen's kind of in the back, which is a little confusing. 
where's a light in here? So, so cute. Just like all the detail here is amazing. And then we have Aaron's room. These rooms are just so huge. I was not expecting that at all whatsoever. Oh, Aaron, your bathroom's really cute. It's like pink. All right, wow. So that is basically a quick little tour. You'll be seeing plenty of this place. Pour us up a glass. We don't know what time it is our body time, but it's time to be legal. How do you even pop this without? Oh, go straight through the window. Please. You always do such a horrible job popping yeah, it. Yeah, that's where I don't know. Aaron, actually, like... be careful. That's the only. Ah! <laughs> Ellie, that could have just like shot my eye. Like Did that not you? No, that came. I I had it with. That could have literally shot my eye out. Can we please go back and look at that? Because if, if this was facing upwards like a dumbass. What an entrance to Florence. That shot oh, like a- okay. Whoa, oh, shit. Over why does it look like- White. Why look white? Why it look like foamy milk? <laughs> Cheers to sister trip to Florence. My first legal drink of many to come. All right, let's get unpacking and figure out the AC. All right, I think we are basically all unpacked. Not the best, but not the worst. I wanna show you guys though how much planning went into this. Erin put together a binder. She's very, very good at planning, hence why these always work out, because she really helps with that. I won't go through everything, but I'll just show like the tabs. So we have like our calendar of everything we're doing for these three weeks, have like a section for tours, and then for all the gluten-free and dairy-free restaurants. So I mapped all the rest gluten-free and dairy-free restaurants from our place, so that way we could have this to take with us in case our phones or something happens. But mom and dad did. They each wrote us a note. Dad, hey girls, it's the night before you leave. Mom wanted me to write this stupid note. Just kidding. Be safe. That's it. I mean it. It will be a great adventure. Love you both, dad. And then mom says, dear girls, I miss you both so much already and can't wait to be with you on August 20th. I'm so proud of the wonderful, brave, and lovely young ladies you've become. Never in my wildest dreams did I think that I would have daughters that would be traveling the world and having these wonderful experiences at this age. I know you both can handle it and will be safe and smart. Love you so much, mama. The whole thing of rooftops. All the rooftop restaurants and pictures so we know what's going on. We have coffee, the different guide to order coffee. This is our go-to. It has everything. We cannot lose this it literally has our life in it yeah actually everything like, i think we need to get food or something mm -hmm. to stay awake because i have a meeting at five o'clock here and like 7 a.m at home and then we're gonna like go and we have someone that my mom scheduled to kind of tour us around florence on like how you can basically live here like grocery store just we like the basics like, yeah we, we need, need to food. figure that out we also have had two two meals basically in 48 hours 48 hours, we've not been traveling for 48 hours. Okay, well it feels like 48 hours. Feels like 48 hours, I don't I don't think it is, I couldn't tell you what it's actually been. All right, so we're gonna find some food and put on some clothes, cause it's hot. Cheers to our first night, slash our body time. I don't know what day it is. No, I don't have cable, but I'm willing and able to watch what's on your mind. I find I waste my time the best when I lose control of the remote staring. Steady at the channels, giving up on intuition. This jet lag is brutal. And now we have to get up because we're gonna go to the grocery. We need to get water, fruit, anything basically to eat. We have a long walk to get to the market, the tour guide that we were with yesterday. I'm so tired. Erin, it's literally 12.30 at night for us right now. I just, my, my poor body is so confused. But we gotta push through part of the jet lag. We gotta just get on the time. So it's 9.30, we gotta just have our full day here. Go grocery shopping. <laughs>
Aaron really just popped off and lugged this easily 30 pound bag <laughs> all the way from the market. But wow, it was so cool grocery shopping there because just the little differences, like you have to print out the tag for your fruit and weigh it yourself, which I actually think is really smart because then you're able to just kind of check out a lot faster than punching it in. There were so many amazing groceries. They had a huge gluten-free section, but we basically just got so much fruit. Seasonings for like avocado toast, just really basic things. We got chickpeas, of course, my main protein, stuff for our own salad, all sorts of really yummy fruit. They had veggie burgers, this is huge. Cucumber, this gluten-free bread, we need to throw this in the toaster now. Olive oil for all of our cooking. Ooh, wow. so much good stuff. And what was really interesting was the eggs over there were actually not refrigerated. So random, but I do remember that they, they're kind of like lukewarm when I've had them here before. Balsamic. Ooh, we got gluten-free like pita so we can make like salad wraps, which is really cool. Got stuff for our espresso machine. Espresso shots are huge over here and you know I'm like a latte girl. So we're gonna make a lot of coffee here and we also got a thing of soy milk. They actually don't have oat milk but they had soy, rice, I think they even had edamame milk. There was one that had like an edamame on it so I don't know what that one was but it was really cool. So we got some gluten-free pasta. This looks so good. We got our marinara sauce, avocado, onions, pears. Ooh, why are these tomatoes open in the duffel? That's <laughs> a little concerning. We need to wash all of this. Basically a successful first grocery haul, really cool grocery store, and yeah, now we're gonna unpack, make some food, and then I'm gonna go find a latte somewhere because I'm not doing it. So here's the outfit for our walking tour. We have a three hour tour where we're just gonna walk around once again, get acclimated, because we really wanna do this right and make sure that we're understanding where we are, the important places, just everything to basically live here for three weeks. That was really part of our experience, was wanting to feel what it's like to actually live here and know more than just, I guess, the main sites, like when we visited in Florence last time. This is literally my dad's oversized work shirt. Shout out him for giving it to me, because I'll be wearing this a lot. <laughs> Should we call it that action? Not many people would be. What the? It's almost like we need like a wine opener. Oh my god! I'm gonna like cut. Should myself. I get in there? Wait. Like a summer breeze when I fall. Like autumn leaves. Wouldn't it be nice to grow all together? We are on a private tour right now and it's hot, but it's three hours and we're gonna learn so much. We're really excited. Yes, I'm excited. We just saw a beagle, so we saw a little Becky beagle. so much and it was really cool because we already knew a lot of the stuff when we first yeah. came but we got to learn all new stuff and kind of add on to that so that was really fun we had a great tour guide we also locked out because it was supposed to be a group tour and then we were the only ones there yeah so we had basically a private tour we got gelato it was so much fun so anyways this dress is from pepper mayo my outfit is nasty gal and then amazon all i said was i wanted a pre-game dinner i don't understand what the problem with that is i just need wine i feel like that tour took a lot out of us and I can officially say that too. Yeah. <laughs> 